Hey everyone, welcome to Income School. Uh, Ricky here, and today I'm going to walk you through um, how to change your homepage on your WordPress site from the blog post page to a static homepage that can have whatever content, pictures, uh, videos, whatever you want on it. The default in WordPress is to have it be uh, a listing of your most recent posts, your 10 most recent posts to be specific. Today we're going to look at how to change that. Um, it's not something that you're always going to want to do, but sometimes you do have some content that you want to show on the home page of your site, and rather than having a listing of articles. So today, again, we're going to walk you through how to do that. The first thing you need to do is create the home page. So we're going to go to Pages, Add New. And here we're going to be able to create a new page. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name it what my site title is because this title will show up at the top of the page. Beginner Motorcycle Guide Home. Now I would go ahead and build this page however I want to. Right now I'm just going to publish it. So it's going to be a blank page. And then, as soon as this uploads, I'm going or reloads, I'm going to add a new page, another one. And this one is going to where, be where it's going to have that listing of your most recent articles. We want to be able to create this page so that people can find all of those recent blog posts. I'm just going to call it blog. You can call it articles, you can call it whatever you want to. And then here you don't add any content, you don't add any code, nothing. Okay, you just create the page and leave it alone. So we're going to publish that. And then as soon as the page reloads, we're going to go and we're going to change what's, what is going to actually show as the home page. So here on the left, I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go down to reading and click on that. And then here I'm going to change front page displays from your latest posts to a static page. And now it's going to have me select what the static page is for the front page it's my beginner motorcycle guide home and then the posts page is going to be the one that I called blog okay I'm gonna save this now I wanna make sure that that blog page actually shows up in my menu because I want people to be able to find it from the home page or from any page on my site so here I'm gonna go over to appearance menus and here I've got blog this is just a page that I it created this is actually taking people to the home page rather than to my actual blog page this is something that I did earlier so I'm gonna add this page that we just created called blog I'm gonna add it to the menu it's gonna show up here at the bottom in just a second I'm gonna move that up here I'm gonna get rid of this one remove and now all these items that were sub items before I'm gonna go ahead I you know I already created this menu structure a while ago these are all blog categories and so I want people when they you know click on blog to be able to see a listing of all the different categories and that way they can just click on or they can just get um, the category they're looking for or they can just click on blog at the top and it's gonna give them my most recent blog posts now I'm gonna save my menu and let's go look at what this looks like on the site now this is a brand new site we haven't really created any content we've been using it as a demo site for now um, so you're not going to really see much on there, um, but for the purposes of, of this tutorial, this should help. So now you see that my home page, if I click Beginner Motorcycle Guide, this is taking me here to a static page where, you, as you remember, I wrote Beginner Motorcycle Guide Home as the title. That's here. So now if I wanted to create a custom page, make it whatever I want to, I could. In fact, I could even make the home page not show any of this stuff if I wanted to. Then here under blog, you see I've got my, my submenu, and if I click blog, it's going to take me to what's called the posts page. This spot right here is for a slider that we've enabled, but there's no content in the slider. And then here you would see a listing of recent posts. So I hope that tutorial helped you today. Um, that if you want to be able to create a static homepage for your site, and we say static, you can change it at any time. You can update it at any time. It's just static because it's not content that's going to automatically change as you come out with new articles. So if you want a static page like that for your homepage, this is how you set it up. Uh, I hope you liked the video, and we hope you'll uh, come back and see some of our other, other tutorials on, on websites and podcasting. And I wish you the best of luck on your own site. Bye.